Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial and today I will quickly teach you how you can create a website on Namecheap's WordPress uh, shared hosting. So let's start. First, you have to go to Namecheap.com. You can find my affiliate link in the description. You will get a discount from it. You will whatever the best offer available for hosting is. So please go buy my buy hosting from my affiliate link. And when you will go to this website, you will just see this option hosting and select shared hosting and if you want to learn about this wordpress hosting i have already created a tutorial about this this is namecheap's managed easy wp hosting so do check that out also and so today i will uh, show you about this shared hosting so click on it and now you will all see all the available plans so select whichever plan is uh, best suitable for your needs I would suggest you to go with please uh, not select the stellar plan and um, unless you have because um, it's limited with three domains and uh, has limited features this has auto backup feature so depending on your requirements you can select the plan so for this tutorial purpose I will select the starter plan so first select the plan and then click on get started And from here you will see this option uh, to buy a new domain or to connect your existing domain. So if you don't have a new domain, select this option and then click on new purchase. And from here you can search for any domain you want like um, your name .com. Again, like this you can search for the domain and then it will show you the available if it's available or not and you will see the price and then you can uh, select uh, click on this button connect to hosting then it will get added to your cart so that's pretty simple but i already have a domain so i will select this option existing domain name and here i will sign in as I already have a Namecheap account and it's pretty simple to do so and if you at any step a step you are not able to follow or if you get any error you can post in the comments or directly email me and I will help you so after logging in you can see uh, it is showing me all the available domains in my account so if it uh, as I use Namecheap as my main domain registrar so I will use this option your Namecheap domain name if you have a domain registered with some other domain registrar like GoDaddy you will have to select this option and then search the domain name here so I will connect my this domain bonjour.website select it and then click on connect to hosting okay now simply this is the price and uh, you can see the domain has been added so then click on add to cart okay now uh, I will unselect this you can keep the setting I will unselect it okay and we do not need anything extra if you want you can use this by email hosting um, but I will leave, just leave it right now you can also opt for it later so then review your order and then click on confirm order and here you will have to uh, fill your payment details it is pretty simple so i will just skip it okay so once you make the payment you will see this uh, it is processing your order and the whole process is pretty much short automated and you will see the purchase confirmation and then okay so whichever payment method you uh, you may prefer and then once the order has been successfully placed you will see this purchase summary just scroll down and then click on this option manage okay so this is showing the message please try again in few minutes your cPanel account has not been created yet so after two minutes I refreshed this page from here and now I can see the cPanel account details and you can see here this is the website domain I added to my account and you can see all the available information about your uh, this is the date for which the account is valid 
and all the disk space and all the other specifications about your hosting. Let's go to cPanel and then from there install WordPress. So there are two options to go to cPanel. Just click on this button or the one below and this will directly log you in and here you will see all the cPanel options. So now let's scroll down. This is the soft tagless or apps installer what we need. So now let's install WordPress content management system and then simply click on install now. Uh, an interesting fact WordPress powers almost 50% all the websites and then select the select the latest available option and from here you can choose the protocol so just keep it on default and do not uh, change anything you can change all these options later also um, what you I would suggest you do is um, change this email to your actual email which is active right now so for example I will ch change it to my email and this is the same email ID if you have any trouble you can contact me directly and this is the best method to contact me because sometimes I do not get a notification for YouTube comments. So these are some of the extra plugins if you want to install. Um, I would suggest you to just skip it and just click on install. Here also enter your email ID and then click on install. Okay, so the WordPress has been installed successfully on our website and our website is ready. Let's go website is live and you can see this. So to log into the WordPress admin dashboard, what you have to do is add slash WP hyphen admin and enter. All these details will also be sent to your email ID. So if you need any details, you can check your email also. And here just um, enter the email details, whatever you selected at the time of installation. By default, this is admin and pass. So just log in. This is the basic tutorial how you can create a website with Namecheap shared hosting. And now if you want to are interested in advanced tutorial like how to create an online store with WordPress or how to have a business website or you know anything like advanced like that, you can subscribe to my channel. I create uh, tutorials, useful tutorials like that. You also check the description for any related and useful links. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I will see you in the next video.